trend view mode. The view mode allows us to view the complete chart preview of the selected, offline, online, or trend view definition trend log objects. This is the typical view of a data record of a single data value, in our example the room temperature present value of an online trend object. In the top left corner, we find the legend of the trend object and the selected color for the graphic display. Depending on the selected text representation, the displayed object designation varies. If we hover the mouse cursor over the object name, the full object information with the path will appear. The scaling is visible in the y-axis units. The scaling is based on the trend series data and adjusts automatically. The x-axis represents the time bar of the predetermined time period for this chart. We already got to know the predefined time ranges in the previous part. With the time slider we have another possibility to change the time range and to retrieve further data values by moving the slider. It is even easier with the mouse by simply holding the mouse pointer over the chart and using the mouse wheel to change the time range. Or to move the time slider just hold the left mouse button and move the mouse pointer to the left or right. We change the trend object type and open a trend view definition more precisely the power office blind, to see the difference between a single data value record and a record with multiple data objects. The legend and the diagram show us the records of a total of eight data values, including colors assigned to the data objects. In terms of the unit, one differs from the other seven. Consequently, two y-axes are provided in the chart. On the left y-axis we have the current power in kilowatt unit and on the right y-axis the blind commands in the percentage unit. For an analysis or a better understanding of the chart, it can be helpful to temporarily hide individual data values from the chart. With a click on the data objects to be hidden in the legend, this task is very easily solved in the Flex client. The trend series in the database of Dezigo CC of the various trend objects are always updated by default in the open trend view. In the case of online trends, this is done continuously, as is clearly visible here with the type of trend view definition we are currently using. With the selected time period in this chart, the updating is done in very short time intervals. For the offline trends, this usually happens automatically when the notification threshold of the trend log object is reached, which is undefined in time. We are still in the process of analyzing and investigating and would like to show you a few more tools that are helpful and efficient. We would like to find out when exactly and how high a specific peak value was. It is recommended to stop the update, which is done by clicking on this icon. We can now analyze this undisturbed without fearing that the trend view will change with a value update and that we will lose focus. The Flex client offers another possibility to adjust the time range to the desired requirements, the zoom mode. This function offers us the possibility to zoom into a certain period of time in a different, very efficient way. We click on zoom mode and the mouse cursor changes into a cross that allows us to precisely define the time range in the chart itself. This function allows us to zoom into a very precise time period and reach our goal efficiently. Holding the cursor over the desired peak value will display the various values of the data points, as well as the date and time of occurrence. After the completed analysis, we exit the zoom mode and release the update. By reselecting the trend view definition, it can be seen that all the changes that have just been made are temporary. The data point values of this trend view can be displayed in a chart because they are of the same analog data point type. For trend objects with different data point types, the records are displayed in multiple charts for the clarity. This trend view is divided into eight charts, and it is easy to recognize that this representation is very helpful in order to identify correlations between the individual records. The division into charts is done automatically as soon as different types are detected. Or it can be configured manually with little effort. 
The trend view offers us the following options, which only applies to the selected object. Deleting the object which is only possible for online and trend view definition objects because these objects are created in the Dezigo CC system. Backnet offline trend objects cannot be deleted. The feature show data status will be explained in the sub-chapter quality attributes. And the last option, the manual upload fetches the latest data of all the backnet trend log objects and displays in the chart. This option is enabled only for trend log or trend log multiple objects or if the selected trend view definition contains offline trend log objects or trend log multiple objects. All functions shown can also be executed with touch screens. Now it's time to create trend objects.